Okay, good morning everybody at Springfield Union. Um, this is what I mean by the when the uh, when uh, Queens Village needs to get the act together. Well, it's not just Queens Village, it's also the Blasio's New York City here. This bus I got off, got off just a moment ago, this bus didn't break down. Apparently this this guy who who's at Creepmore, alright, like who's a mental case, like he and up um, throwing up on the back of the butt of this bus so what is the right thing to do is to take this bus out of service and then get everybody on the next bus which that seems more fair and now I'm gonna have to take this bus here smart bus 8529 heading south now I just gotta call in which is I think this is the right which is actually the right thing to do because you know when you have a uh, when you have an unsanitized bus, like what do you do? Or an unsanitized car? Well, what do you do? You got you got everybody everybody off the bus. So so that's what he's doing here. Another day in the Blasio of New York City. Why are they doing road work on Union Turnpike at 11 o'clock in the morning? There's no need for this. None. And to open the window, I can't see the road work. Ridiculous. No. Once again, this is Polly Trottenberg at work. This is her ploy to ruin Queens. As I've been saying for the past year. So now, he was supposed to be at Main Street. Five minutes ago, now we're stuck. We're stuck. I hope it doesn't get bad by the interchange. This is completely ridiculous. You know, and the open construction workers, letting them know that this work can be done overnight. Completely ridiculous. You know? Seriously, why? Why? Why do they have to do the work now? There's more vehicles in front of us, you know? Unbelievable. There's more work up ahead, it looks like. I can't get you a different view, but this is this is just ridiculous. You know, once again, Polly Trottenberg, this is your fault, all right? You need to resign. I've been saying that for a year now. You need to resign. We need a new DOT commissioner. Folks, I've been saying it the past year. She is, once again, the worst DOT commissioner in the city of New York's history. And again, you know what she cares about. Big Snow Brooklyn in Lower Manhattan. Not Queens. I see a sidewalk that needs to be repaved right in front of these apartment buildings. And again, folks, I'm urging you, please call the DOT and demand that Polly Trottenberg resign. She needs to leave today. This is completely ridiculous. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, November 14th, 2019. We got a problem on the 46th this morning. The 1002 to Kew Gardens apparently is missing. We do not have a run being filled this morning on the Q46. Seems I'm on the case because I was trying to get Wi-Fi on Lakeville Road because that's where the Comcast hotspot is. And what happened is now we have three buses that are here. We don't know what's going on because I saw a bus on Lakeville that just came by and just didn't fill the run. It said not in service. So what is going on here? Look, we got another not in service bus. Again, they should be filling the run. They should be filming the run right now, but they're not. So now we get a missing run on the 46th this morning. And thankfully, I'm not getting on the bus. I'm just here to expose the problem because I got to take the bus at 150 this afternoon. But again, you got people, you at least got four people waiting here, trying to head westbound Union Turnpike, and now they're stranded. They're completely stranded. Unacceptable unacceptable and again I don't know what's going on here I mean they better fill the 1012 because 
they don't fill 1012, then 1022 is going to have overcrowding. 1032 is going to have overcrowding. And it's just going to go on and on and on. So let's see what we got. But look at this. Another bus not in service. Oh my God, another one not in service. See what I mean, folks? This is why I got to expose Queens Village when I can. As I said, thank goodness I'm not taking the bus until later this afternoon. Because I'm thinking I may do more of these stakeouts from now on when I don't have to take the bus until the afternoon. All right, so now we got a bus. It's coming up. I can't check what time it is. Anybody have the time right now? Anybody have the time? Let me know, because we're supposed to have a bus to leave the 1012. I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. Yeah, so apparently nobody wanted to take out their phone just to check the time. Which, again, most cell phones have a clock. So let's see what we got here. Yep. So here we go. The 1012, the Kew Gardens, is two minutes early. Look at that. And again, Pat Foy, this is your fault for taking away the bus schedules. Someone on Andy Byford too, but you know. Again, this is why I tell people, keep the PDF. The PDF is a lifesaver. That's why I know when these buses are coming. People don't have common sense, you know? So here we go. Bus is gonna leave on time. So here he goes. Again, this is what you get with this depot. This is what you get get these crazy antics sometimes where a run goes missing and I bet this one's gonna get crowded I bet by the time he gets to 260th Street he's gonna get crowded or by the time he gets over to um I'm trying to think right definitely by Springfield Boulevard you could definitely see a, a situation where there's gonna be crowded but again I was only out here this morning because I wanted to get Wi-Fi from Comcast because there's a hot spot on Lakeville and if I wasn't out here, I just went into my building, went in to do my position at Cancer Registry right now, then I wouldn't know what's going on. And by the way, I want to mention that the full board's meeting today at 2 Broadway, the full board's meeting today, how ironic. And also I'll quickly mention last night, New Jersey Transit, I need to really have a bone to pick with New Jersey Transit because last night during the board meeting, the full board met, six o'clock, they went into executive session. And this is what I noticed with New Jersey Transit. They always go into executive session at six o'clock. Then at seven o'clock, you know what they do? Public speakers. At least they get to talk for five minutes, but nobody brings up the fact that they don't give elaborate answers on positive train control. Do you know that if a rail system does not have PTC installed December 31st of 2020, you know what happens? I'll tell you what happens. The railroad cannot run. Like imagine if Metro North, the Long Island Railroad, didn't have PTC. They weren't, January 1st, 2021, same at New Jersey Transit, they wouldn't be able to run. And then more canceled trains on New Jersey Transit this week. And not to mention, last night we had problems. Unauthorized vehicle at New Hyde Park. We also had a broken rail at Jamaica that canceled AM peak trains on Tuesday. And then we had an unauthorized person on the tracks near Limbrook that suspended the Babylon branch this afternoon. And it gets worse. Look what happened at Queens Village. We had signal problems. Eastbound trains had to bypass Hollis and Queens Village. Westbound trains had to stop at Queens Village and Hollis, which was added stops for some trains. Oh, and not to mention, Amtrak and New Jersey Transit had problems last night. Unauthorized person on the tracks at Newark. So this is a very uncertain time for our mass transit system again. Sorry to ran on, but trust me, if I went to New Jersey last night, you know I would be ranting. You know I would be talking about PTC, talking about the engineering problems, 
and also talking about how they screw people on the Pascack Valley line in Metro North. And, and thank goodness they have a vocal advocate like Oren gets because Oren, I'm going to tell you right now, please continue to go to the, commu the, commu the commuter um, meetings, please, because trust me, I'm trying to respect all three major rail networks in the state, in our tri-state area, Metro North, Long Island Railroad, and New Jersey Transit. Now, of all the three, New Jersey Transit's in the worst shape still. So just remember, folks, complain, beg them, make sure PTC is installed December 31st of next year. Because if not, we're not going to have any commuter rail. We're not. All right? So Long Island Railroad, Metro North, New Jersey Transit, get your act together. Get PTC installed next year. Otherwise, there's consequences. So thank you all for watching. I'm sorry to make a little rant at the end, but you all get my point. We're facing the worst transportation crisis in, again, state of New York's history, let alone New Jersey's. So just looking at one nice view of this beautiful building that I work at. Well, this isn't my building. This is my building. <laughs> thank you all for watching. Until the next one, please take care.